Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Last Chance FPS, or you call me Chance. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can lock all 10 of the multiplayer characters here in Black Ops 4 Blackout. For any of you guys that don't know, basically to unlock any type of character skins in the Black Ops 4 Blackout, basically what's gonna happen is in your game while you are playing, there's gonna be some random objects that you're gonna wanna have to pick up in game and put it in your inventory that will basically give you the opportunity to unlock a specific challenge in order to unlock that character. Now there's a bunch of other different characters like for specific blackout characters as well as zombie characters but in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can unlock all 10 of the multiplayer characters that are the same special characters that you could use in the multiplayer game but honestly guys most of these are pretty easy and self-explanatory some of them are easier than others but honestly the hardest part about unlocking all these characters is just actually finding the object to unlock the challenges in the first place because if you don't have the item in your inventory you're not able to actually try to attempt to complete them and then unlock the skin to use for yourself in future matches yeah guys without further ado let's hop into the challenges so for all of the characters moving forward i am going to do those in an order of which ones are easier compared to harder ones because i do feel like i want to get the easy ones out of the way but yeah guys the first and easiest character to unlock by far is going to be the ajax character and to unlock the ajax character in game basically what you want to do is pick up three broken armor plates and also finish the match with them in your inventory so honestly guys the reason why this one is the easiest by far is these broken armor plates pretty much every other time you get a kill in match if you go into their inventory bag you guys are going to see the broken plate so honestly finding three of them in a match and then also dying or winning the match is honestly really really common it's just a matter of actually saving spots for them in your inventory so yeah guys ajax by far the easiest character to unlock so the second multiplayer character that we're going to be trying to unlock in this video is actually going to be ruined with his punching mitts and basically there is actually three different specific spawn locations where these mitts actually do spawn randomly in match they won't always spawn there but every other time that you guys do go to this location i wouldn't be surprised if you find them so the three locations you're going to be wanting to land at and look for these punching mitts is going to be on top of the roof at the asylum location outer layer of the lighthouse I really don't know how to subscribe it's kind of like this outer ledge and then the third location is going to be on top of the highest crane at the construction site now honestly for me the easiest way i completed this challenge is actually landing at the asylum roof because basically what you have to do to complete this challenge is you have to get a close quarter kill and also finish the match with the mitts in your inventory so honestly i like the asylum one the best because a it's the easiest one to reach when you guys are landing there and then also there's going to be a bunch of other players probably landing there so picking up a shotgun in this closed quarter engagement in the asylum area is actually not that hard it's just a matter of actually finding it and having it spawn there for you guys to pick up but yeah besides that this one not that difficult at all the next specialist character we're going to be trying to unlock is the seraph and for her what you're going to want to be looking for is her annihilator pistol now there's actually a set spawn location for her annihilator pistol and that's going to be at the firing lanes location you're going to be wanting to look for this green looking building towards the one side of the firing range and if you go inside of this building you're going to see a greenish box on top of the table on the right side of the room and basically what you're going to want to do is have to do a specific task to open the box where her annihilator pistol is going to be located so basically to open the box what you're going to want to do is aim at the two white targets and you basically just want to shoot the two white targets and once you do that with a pistol the box will open and your annihilator pistol will be accessible and it will take up a weapon slot and once you guys do pick it up basically what you're going to want to do is you have to get a kill with the annihilator pistol finish top five in the match and also finish it with it in your inventory but honestly i think this is a little bug because some people have been saying it actually is top 15 not top five what i did notice with the pistol is that it actually acts more of like a shotgun for whatever reason it acts more of a shotgun so you're wanting going to want to get up close and personal with this pistol but if you guys do that get top 15 and finish the match with your inventory you guys should be good to go. The next specialist character we're gonna be trying to unlock is the battery. Now for her, the specific item we're looking for is the war machine. And the description for this challenge says to kill two enemy opponents with the grenade launcher, and then also finish the match with the grenade launcher in your inventory. Now, one thing I did learn really, really quickly when I did try to complete this challenge, this war machine is gonna be in the supply drop. And once you guys open the supply drop, if you guys do find a war machine, the war machine is only gonna have four shots and you cannot reload or basically replace Replenish ammo. So you want to be very, very cautious when using this, but it's very, very powerful. So once you guys do get the war machine, you're basically want to be as precise as possible. Getting two kills with this is actually not that difficult, and finishing it with your inventory 
is not that hard at all. So yeah, guys, it's just a matter of making it late game or scouting out for the supply drops throughout the match. Basically, getting the war machine out of the drop, getting two kills, and you guys will unlock the battery. No problems at all. The next specialist character we're going to be trying to unlock here in the blackout mode is going to be the crash specialist character. Now, for the crash specialist character, what we're going to be looking for is his poker chips. Now, the description for his challenge reads to end the match with 15 healing items in your inventory, placing top three in whatever mode, and then also finishing the match with the poker chips in your inventory. So again, this challenge, not the difficult at all. Honestly, just a matter of finding the poker chips in match. There's no set location for these, but the best chance of you guys finding any of these specific items is going to be either the supply drops that randomly spawn in and then also the supply crates. Now, what I've actually noticed is that my best odds of finding these have been in the supply crates that are randomly throughout the match. But the one spot where I always find one is actually at the fracking tower location in the underground silo area. There's always one that spawns there. Basically, you just want to find this. You could also scavenge this from enemy players. That also does happen a good amount. But for the most part, it's going to be in the supply drops or supply crates. But yeah, guys, complete these challenges because like I said, they're not difficult at all. And you guys will unlock the crash specialist character. The next specialist character we're going to be trying to unlock here in the black mode is going to be the recon specialist character. Now, basically for his challenge, it is to avoid collapse damage. So that is basically not taking damage from the storm in match. You're also going to want to place top 15 and then also finish the match with this in your inventory. So yeah, guys, honestly, like the last one I previously mentioned, the challenges themselves aren't that difficult, but it's just a matter of actually finding them in match. But if you guys are lucky enough to find these Ching coins in your match and basically avoid the storm and try to make it as far late game as possible, you guys should be good to go and unlocking the recon specialist character. The next specialist character we're gonna be trying to unlock here in the black mode is gonna be the Nomad. Now for the Nomad specialist character, his object is the Juno tags and the Juno tags description says to eliminate three specialist enemies as well as also finishing the match with this in your inventory now again like i said for all the other ones it's just a matter of actually finding this in game and keeping your inventory but honestly for this one it is a little bit more difficult because it kind of depends on who you run into in game if they actually have a specialist character outfit on because a lot of people just rock either like other stuff or they're like a default skin or something like that so it's just a matter of actually scouting out and finding people and also taking them out in match that have specialist characters on you guys should be a good to go for the nomad specialist character the next specialist character we're going to be taking a look at is actually torque now for the torque specialist character his is the note of torque and the description for this challenge says to deploy two razor wires his barricade place top seven as well as also finishing the match with this in your inventory now lucky enough for you guys the best way i found to complete this is again like the previous one for the battery we're going to be wanting to hunt for supply drops now the reason for this is randomly supply drops do actually carry the note from torque and also what it does does is that in the certain items in the supply drop as well as dropping the note from torque it is also going to give you all the different items you have to basically complete the challenge for going to drop you the two barricades his razor wires and all that stuff so pretty much what you're going to want to do if you do end up finding that specific supply drop place all those things down right away to complete the challenge and then also place top seven as well as finishing the match with this in your inventory not that difficult at all it's just a matter of actually finding a supply drop with this specific note from torque but if you guys are lucky enough to find one and complete all the these challenges you guys should be good to go for unlocking nomad the second to last specialist character we're going to be trying to unlock here in blackout mode is going to be the fire break now for the fire break his special object is going to be the burn doll and the description for the burn doll says to confirm a kill or clean up basically any type of fire object you have to eliminate them with fire as well as finishing the match with this in your inventory now the easiest way to complete this like it also mentions in the description is actually to play either duos or squads because doing a cleanup kill will also also count for this personally for me i did solo so it was a little bit more difficult and also the only way that currently in game we get a fire kill is actually using the molotov so basically stockpile on molotovs if you guys can before you do find the burn doll to try to complete the challenge but honestly for all the other ones like i mentioned it's just a matter of actually finding the burn doll but once you guys do that stockpile on molotovs basically down someone or try to finish them with a molotov and you guys should be good to go for unlocking fire break so the last specialist character we're going to be trying to unlock here in the black mode and why i saved specifically for last because he is by far the hardest challenge to try to complete in match to unlock the character model is going to be the prophet now for the prophet his is the oscular prosthetics and basically the description for this says to have three perks active achieve number one victory as well as finishing this when your inventory so yeah guys like the description says you have to win a match but also while you're winning the match you have to have three perks active so immediately it's hard enough just actually finding the specific 
specific oscular prosthetics in match but then also you want to stockpile on perks as well as you have to win the game so this is by far the hardest but if you guys do end up completing all these challenges and you guys do unlock profit congratulations because he is no easy task at all so yeah guys that's how you unlock all 10 of the multiplayer specials characters here in blackout honestly there's not really any specific character model that i personally like the best some i actually have some really cool skins for and some i really don't have any but yeah guys unlocking all 10 of the multiplayer characters in game for your blackout like i did is very very difficult and i think that's a pretty awesome accomplishment in my opinion but yeah guys i hope this video helped you guys on going on to unlock all 10 of the multiplayer specials characters for your blackouts for blackout and honestly if this video helped you guys out in any way definitely leave a like and comment on this video this video took a ton of time to put together like my previous guide so if you guys did go on to enjoy this video and you guys aren't into the channel also don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you guys never miss a future video check out my twitch and all my social medias which i will have linked down in the description down below and until next time i will catch you guys in the next video